Hi Smart Minds, in this video I'll be showing you how to code an action game in Scratch. We got fire lives and we are this cool ninja samurai guy. And we need to kill the zombies before they kill us. So let's jump right in. Alright, now let's start coding. Click on this martial hero sprite and head into costume tab. And you can see we got a lot of costumes. So these are single costumes for our animation. We got the idle animation, attack costumes, the run costumes, another attack costumes, and the death. So we'll only be using the idle, attack, run, and the death animation. When green flag clicks, we need to hide, go to front layer, and let's make a new variable of x for all sprites and set our x variable to 0. We need to go to x0 and y negative 7. Now let's hide some sprites. So, transition, glow, tech, and the thumbnail. Now we need to set our rotational style to left and right. Set our brightness effect to 0. Change our brightness effect by 10. Change our ghost effect by 30. Switch costume to the first costume, idle 1. And set our size to 560. Now we can show. And now grab a forever sprite, my blocks, and let's make new block called movement. Okay. Now let's define this block. Grab a if statement. If key right arrow press we need to point in direction 90 change our x by 5 duplicate if key left arrow press point in direction negative 90 and change our x by negative 5 we need to change our x by x position times negative 1 and we need to go to the original x and y portion is x0 and y70 and now let's test it and i can see our players which is direction and the x variable now let's code our platform click on your platform sprite when green flag click we need to hide go to x negative 1 and y negative 174 when green flag click, make a new variable called clone ID for this sprite only. We need to set our clone ID to 0, repeat 5, change our clone ID by 1, and create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, we need to show forever, grab a if else. If our clone ID equals 1, then we need to switch costume to our first costume. So we got 5 costumes. And we need to go to x, our x variable, and y negative 174. So just duplicate it. Else, if clone ID equals 2, go to x plus 400. And then duplicate if clone ID equals 3 if x minus 400. And we need to switch costume to 2, costume to 3. So now let's just repeat 3. Now let's test it. And I can see we got this moving platform. So now duplicate it again, repeat 5, if clone id equals 4, clone id equals 5, plus 800, minus 800. So the last should be on an if state. Now let's test it. Then I can see our platform ends but 
we could still move so that should not happen so click on martial hero grab this statement two of them if our x is greater than negative 70 oh key left arrow press if our x is greater than 755 now let's test it and i can see we got this boundary so right now let's code our bg so click on bg when green flag click we need to hide make a new variable called clone id for this spread only we need to set clone id to zero repeat three we need to change our clone id by one create clone of myself when i start as a clone we need to show forever if else if clone equals one we need to go to x which costume to one so we need to go to x times one duplicate if clone equals two costume to two x times one plus 480 and duplicate grab a if statement if clone id equals 3 we need to go to x times 1 negative 480 and now let's test it and i can see we got this moving background so okay now let's animate our player so click on the martial hero sprite when green flag click we need to show we need to set make a new variable called animation for this sprite only we need to set our animation zero grab a forever a if else statement and let's make another variable called attacking for all sprites now we need to set our attacking to n and if attacking equals n set our size 560 grab the o block if the right arrow or if the left arrow press we need to change our animation by one which costume to join run and animation we need to add a small delay of 0 0.05 seconds and if our animation is greater than 8 then we need to set animation back to 0 so what does this code do it will set the animation variable to 1 and then it would join 1 and run to switch to our first running costume we change the animation variable by 1 switching from one costume to another and if the animation variable is 8 which is the last costume of our running animation it would switch back to the first one so now let's just give it a try and now you can see we got this running samurai so okay now let's code the idle animation so for the idle animation it's just the same thing duplicate we need to set our size to 540 remove the if statement change animation by one it to join idle and if animation is greater than seven 
So grab a if else statement. So this should be on an else statement and change animation, grab the weight and else we need to do our idle animation. And this should be on an if statement. So now if we test it, I can see we got this idle animation. We press the right or left keys, we got the running animation. If we stop, the player goes back to the idle animation. So now I'll be showing you how to code our attacking animation. So grab this when key space press. We need to set our size to 400. Set attacking Y. Set animation to 0. Repeat 7. We need to change animation by 1. Which costume to join animation and attack? We need to wait 0 0.05 seconds. If animation is greater than 6, we need to set our animation back to 0. Finally, we need to set attacking in. Now let's test it. And now you can see our samurai can attack and our samurai can move while attacking so that should not happen so to fix that so forever grab this if statement if attacking equals n and i can see we cannot move while attacking on episode 2 i'll be showing you how to code our enemies the life shadows and music and if you want to make an awesome game like this make sure to check this video